Okay, so I'm just going to go over a couple examples in this would-be pink polygon packet, because I just love alliteration. Um, the first, like, 35 problems, you, as you've seen, I'm sure, you can obviously do after the video um, on classification of polygons. And then in the video um, where I would tell you about circles, I talked about the difference between exact and approximate answers. So you can watch that if you're um, trying to figure that out for this packet. Now, I'm not like collecting this packet, you know, like you won't be taking a test on this. Um, so if you are just finding like the approximate answers and not the exact answers, that's not a big deal. I mean, it is important to know the difference between the two. Um, but again, you like you won't be tested on it. Um, and I mean, you have all the time in the world, so why would you not do this entire packet? But you know, just the evens or the odds would probably be fine too. But there's just a couple I want to highlight and go over. Um, most of these, you know, if you're just using logic and thinking about the problem, you could probably figure out on your own. But I do want to give an example in case you are stuck. So, um, these problems here, starting at 52, they give you circumference, they want you to find the radius. Now, this is my answer key. I don't have a blank one, so I already have the work written down for most of these problems, but there's still something I want to highlight here. Um, okay, so you'll just take the 17. You're going to set it equal to the formula for circumference, which is which is 2 pi r. To solve for the radius, you're going to divide by 2 and then divide by pi. And then I always get the question, well, can't you just do it in one step and divide by 2 pi? My answer to that is yes, you can, but I'm just going to show you something in the calculator um, that will get you, I've seen it get many a fine student. So if you're going to do it at one time, let me just show you the difference that parentheses will make. Okay, so if you just plug in 17 divided by 2 pi, you get 26.7. Now, if you just thought about that answer for about 2.3 seconds approximately, you would realize that answer makes no sense. How could the radius be larger than the circumference? It cannot. So you need to do 17 divided by parentheses, 2 pi. Ah, uh, 2.7, yes, that, that makes sense, okay? Again, your calculator in the first case is doing 17 divided by 2, which is 8.5, and then multiplying that by pi, okay? You have to tell the calculator, no, 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 I want you to multiply 2 pi, and then I'm doing 17 divided by that value. So just watch your calculator skills, all right? So, okay, so that's problems 52 to 55, and then at 56, it gives you the area and asks for the radius. So you just take the area, set it equal to the area formula. Um, you'll divide by pi first, which got me the 17.7, and then just square root it, and that'll give you the radius. Okay, not, not too difficult. Um, now, if you scratch on down to number 60, so this one is giving the area, and it's asking you to find the circumference. So you're like, what? You can't just jump from one to the other. There's not like a connection, but there, I mean, there is a connection, but not like direct. You have to first find the radius and then just plug that in to find the circumference. So you're gonna start it out. You're gonna start out these problems the exact same way you would have just done those eight problems um, before it. You have to find the radius first. So if you're given the area, you have to set equal to the formula for area, okay? That's our equality. I can't like set equal to two pi r because that's not true. This is not the circumference, it's the area. You divide by pi and then you square root it and you get radius is like 6.0000 something, or no, seven, obviously, 7.00. .00. So the radius is just seven. So then to find the circumference, you just plug that into uh, the formula for a circumference and you get 14 pi miles. That would be the exact answer. And the approximate answer is just 44 miles, okay? Um, same dealio for number 65 here. Now it's giving you the circumference and asking you to find the area. You have to solve for the radius first. So take your circumference, set it equal to the formula for circumference, 2 pi r. Now when you divide by 2 pi, use your parentheses, and you get um, 6. So then to find the area, you would just plug it into pi times 6 squared. The exact answer would be 36 pi feet. And the approximate answer is 113.1 feet squared. Ah! Feet squared. 
the area, your units are always squared. Okay, all right, now I want to do a problem. On the back of the sector, I did an example um, on the circle notes, but I'll just do one of these as well, just because now you got a picture in front of you. Remember, it's just a proportion that you're setting up to solve for the area of the sector. So your formula is the area of the sector, or your x, because that's what you're solving for, over the area of the whole circle. Now this would be pi, the radius is 10, so pi times 10 squared. Okay. The common mistake that I see is that kids forget that it's the area of the whole circle that goes here, and they just start plugging in their radius and not the area formula. So just watch that. And that equals the measure of the central angle, that's this 270 degrees, over the degrees of the whole circle. This will always be 360, okay? Now, when you're solving a proportion, hello, algebra con, right? You're just going to cross, multiply, and solve. So we're going to get 360x equals, now let's, let's multiply, right? We're going to have um, pi times 10, no, sugar. There we go, 10 squared times 270. Now, if I was doing this problem, I mean, I'm doing this problem, but I'm teaching this problem. I wouldn't even like write that number down. I would just go immediately to divide by 360, right? If I just put in my next operation, the calculator automatically brings down that answer. Okay, so 235.6. Oh, look, it matches. 235.6 miles. We are talking about the area of the sector, so squared. Well, that's it. Not too bad. Any questions, let me know. You are a, a rock star, and thank you for watching.